Now to our top story at 6.30. A high-profile visit today by White House officials in Colorado Springs to see how the city is taking advantage of a new opportunity zone, as it's called, incentives created in the 2017 Tax Cut and Jobs Act. As News 5's Annie Cohen tells us, the government sees the Springs as an example of how this program can work. This new eight-story hotel under construction downtown is one of the first projects in the city to take advantage of new Opportunity Zone tax incentives. Colorado Springs is, is well ahead of the curve as it pertains to where they are as far as Opportunity Zones. Scott Turner's job as White House Opportunity and Revitalization Council Director is to get cities excited about using these incentives to improve the lives of neighborhoods left behind by the recovery. As long after we're gone, this can have an impact that literally can transform people's lives. So what is an opportunity zone? When investors make money, say by selling stock that's gone up in value, that money is called capital gains. And the government wants to take its share in taxes. But the government agrees that if the investor decides to save that money in an opportunity fund, then they'll take less tax. The opportunity funds, meanwhile, can lend that money to new or existing business owners that are expanding in an opportunity zone. It's really a very creative uh, mechanism, and I think it's pretty ingenious. I really do. Colorado Springs was quick to develop a framework for local investors and developers to use these funds. He thinks the program could also help with the city's housing crisis. Uh, I think we can do even better with affordable housing using opportunity zones as an incentive. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Andy Cohen, News 5. Mayor Southers also announced a new $600,000 grant that will help start a revitalization program along Shook's Run.